How do you feel about ticket scalpers? If you're like most Americans, then you don't think very highly of them. And you probably deeply resent, if you've ever used them, having to pay more than the face value of a ticket to go to a concert or a sporting event. This attitude isn't just confined to the United States either. Ticket touts, as we call them in the UK, are just as unpopular over there as scalpers are here. But think about this. Why do you feel upset if that's what you've done? Sure, you've had to pay more than the face value for a ticket, but you paid it voluntarily. So by definition, it must have been worth your while to do it. Moreover, think of what the alternatives were. One would have been to stand in line for a tremendously long period of time, and your time is valuable. Another would have been to go into a lottery and have pure chance determined whether or not you got that ticket. It might not have gone to you, it might have gone to somebody who didn't value it as highly as you did. The point is that with things like sporting events and concerts, there's a fundamentally fixed supply of seats and there's a very high demand for them. Having a secondary market through people like scalpers is the best way there is of making sure that those tickets get into the hands of the people who value them most highly. But why then are people so upset about scalpers and their activities? It's not peculiar to this, in fact. This is just one example of a more general phenomenon, which is hostility towards middlemen, people who make a living by putting willing buyers in touch with willing sellers. The common underlying notion is that middlemen do not add anything of value, that they don't create wealth, because they don't physically actually make anything. This is quite simply wrong. Value is not created by work. You could work all day making some kind of good, but if nobody wants to buy it, it's worthless. Value is not created by work, it's created by trade and exchange. The way you discover how much something is worth is by finding out what other people are prepared to give up in exchange for it. If one person owns something and somebody else values it more highly than they do, then if you as a middleman put each of them in touch with the other, then both parties are better off. By definition, economic well-being has been increased. Middlemen play a vital role in the functioning of a market economy. Sometimes this role has been literally vital. Most people think that there's something deeply wrong about buying food in areas where the price is low and then selling it at a profit in areas where the price is high because of a food shortage or a harvest failure. In France in the 18th century, there were laws to stop this. And the result was that you were not able to buy food in areas where there was a surplus and then sell it at a profit in areas where there was a shortage. The consequence was that in France there were repeated famines in which many people quite literally starved to death. In England, by contrast, at that time, there were no such laws. And so although there were local shortages and high food prices, you never got famines in which people actually starved. So the point to take from all this is this. Scalpers, like any other kind of middlemen, are playing an important function in the market economy. A market economy cannot work without middlemen. They play a central part in the way that economy works. And without it, it's not going to function and human well-being will definitely suffer.